the 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 car like I, I haven't spent as much money on cars as have I have I actually made from cars like selling cars you know what I mean and the that those are the only numbers that don't add up but I have like hundreds of hours in GTA because I kept the place the the first one I got like a hundred mil in ten minutes that was the first like real money that I ever seen. I don't even need a waypoint, but, uh, and you got to check, like, your condition of your guns all the time. You have to cock them. Make sure there's a bullet in the chamber. You don't ever want to go up to something without a bullet in the chamber. Well, that's real life, too, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't walk around with a fucking bullet cocked in your gun. You end up shooting yourself. Cause you only use a gun when you need to. You don't have a fucking gun drawn all the time like you would on the game. But this is sort of stupid what I'm doing. Actually eating in the middle of a field with a cougar in it. <laughs> I need to get my health all the way up. No, not a shotgun. Boat action revolver and the varmint rifle. A bow is actually pretty good. But you have to be a hell of a shot, dude. You have to be... I can't kill this bitch with a fucking bow. Like, I'll shoot like three fucking arrows. You can like get pamphlets for uh, better arrows. But uh, the range... On this thing, like the auto lock. I got him locked right now. And then you wait till he's close and you just pop him. Oh, he didn't. Yeah, one shot, one kill. Eight new vehicles. Yeah, that's it. like unless it's been out for a while. So I think Rockstar actually like makes us some of those sometimes to keep player base happy. Bad sport lobby. <laughs> yeah. The only person I know that actually went into the bad sport lobby is game. And A lot of people think you have to change lobbies to get this fucking cougar to spawn, dude. And see me killing it so they don't even stick around. Or they're, or they're doing missions or something. Or just don't want to be around anybody else. And don't look at the map to see if anybody's down here first. walk up to a certain area I'm bad I'm not it's like dishonorable not to not to skin shit on story mode but uh and then the weapon wheel too the weapon wheel is a fucking crazy compared to GTA it's so much more intricate and then if it's a bird by itself you always want to see what it is that's the good ones Where'd this bitch go? Yeah, I think it went that way. Oh, there it is. This 
motherfucker. Fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Yeah, you have to have all those businesses running and shit to actually go AFK to make it beneficial, and then have shit to run. Like if you're just doing a nightclub, it's actually that not not that profitable <laughs> for the simple fact that it, it's only one income and uh but I pretty much know my way around this place already I I tried to uh familiarize myself with it when I was in story mode when there wasn't anybody else around other than NPCs the NPCs are dirty on fucking story mode, dude. Yeah, they, you be just point a gun at them, dude, and you're getting a repeating shotgun right at your fucking face. You just point a gun at somebody. You get in an accident with them, they're coming up shooting with a Schofield. <laughs> And I had a perfect pelt on my back of my horse and this NPC NPC said something smart like he just said there and uh, I act like I was gonna draw on him and he pulled his gun out so I killed him and about 15 police <laughs> when I blues him out all this shit on my horse because I got on my horse and I had an accident so, and I lost all my shit. Find a good one and take it down. And then you can take down a lot if you can kill them. I'm just scan them. I'm gonna take the last one to fucking butcher with the. Yeah, I just dropped the whole herd of fucking. <laughs> Antelope or whatever the fuck they are. Baja California does. Yeah. Dude, I know how to survive. You fucking throw me in the middle of a desert. A fucking... Asshole code. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna... It's easy to track shit in the snow though, dude. Like if you're ever in the snow, and, and like a bear and shit, cause it, everything's fresh, you know what I mean. So it, it can it can tell the, like the different shit. It's been recently, cause that's the thing about tracking. There's a lot of shit. Like you can take dogs with you, but there's no way for them to tell what scent they're going after. You know what I mean. Unless you have them, like, trained to go after specific things like they do in the police. Like, I used to cheat with, uh, playing hide-and-go-seek in the woods. And, uh... And, uh... Like, have, have shirts of my brothers and shit. And be like, find them. <laughs> So they know who to go look for. That dog was smart as shit, dude. I took it so much everywhere with me. It almost jumped out of my sunroof when I was going to Natural Bridge. And shit. Because it had to shit. And it wasn't going to shit in my car. I almost jumped out of the sunroof.
it was a raccoon that tried to get in a car one time, dude. If it wasn't for that dog with me, that big ass raccoon would have just came right up in my car, dude. That shit was crazy. I don't actually know where I'm at either, though. I get in a hunt, I get fucking turned around. Start blasting. <laughs> I think I'm going the right way. Let's check them out. Yep. I usually don't set like to set a waypoint. Just so I familiarize myself with the shit. Know the exits. And I always watch it make sure the fucking deer doesn't leave the back part of you. It'll fall off. Oh, I got under 900. You got fees and shit on here, too. <laughs> I don't know if anybody told you about that. Like, if you have seven people in your posse, you have to pay $2 a day to have a large camp. No, there's no business to pay anybody like there is like there's no better payout like when people help me do that fucking the sales on those businesses dude they were getting jack like Tori make like half a million dollars just helping me sell my shit each night because we were it's pretty much learning like running a mission and except a real well-paying mission you know what I mean it's 30 grand is not that bad in GTA. And then when you can get them done in under two minutes sometimes. Hello. You look hungry. I do look hungry, don't I? Cause I'm high. High. <laughs> Speaking of high. Sorry, man. I might have to light up blowing up for my homies dude I got I brought I usually go to this one dude and get like fire for like just 20 bucks of it because like this dude helps me out pretty well and he helps a lot of people like with more heavier shit than me <sighs> dudes that weigh more <coughs> and uh so there's it's plentiful you know if you know what I mean there's plenty enough for everybody to eat well I think that's the reason I'm here buddy I don't know if I need to keep feathers and shit though. There's no use for them now. And you definitely can't keep carcasses because they go bad. And you lose all these if you fucking die. You definitely want to get rid of Lucky, what's in your hand. And why does it give me two? But we'll take it. And there's the plentiful one. Uh, Thirteen fifty. Five dollars. And he gets all this shit, but I'm actually keeping it. Cougar pelt. All feathers. It's probably not smart, but I'll be back soon, so. Yeah, we'll sell all these flight feathers. I th that might be what you need to fucking make arrows, but I don't have pamphlets yet to make arrows, so there's that. <laughs> One too many, I guess. And then clean your gun all the time. Your first time here? Have a look around. All my food is towards the front of the shop, but if you go to the back, you can also close suck. Bait and room and bits too. Check the catalog on the counter too. I don't have room for everything. The clothes suck. The, you recommended to get outfits, but one outfit's fucking 19 gold bars. You can view all of it, but 
19 gold bars for fucking one outfit. I can't force myself to pay that one in story mode fucking uh gold bars were five hundred dollars. So you telling me this thing is worth I can't even do the math on that. <laughs> Nineteen go bars. Let's do the math. Tingo bars times 500 is 950 or 9,500 dollars for this outfit that they want me to buy. <laughs> Tell me that ain't crazy, dude. You could buy like a submarine back then for this price. That price. <laughs> You know there isn't even any law it, left in Armadillo now. Armadillo laws. Yeah. I, there better be no law out here when I come out either. <laughs> That's always flying off the shelves. And then the next one's $290. I need a new outfit, but I don't know what to fucking buy. I'm not a... What does this cost? This costs 47 gold bars. Holy shit. Two hundred or twenty three thousand five hundred dollars for this outfit. When if I level unlock it, I get two hundred it's two hundred and ninety dollars. I said Yeah, I'm gonna probably buy this hundred It's hundred and fifty dollars. It sounds more in my price range. Let's buy this bitch. <laughs> and I need multiple outfits. This is level locked. And 36 go bars. I'm not even going to do the math because I know it's stupid. And they gave me one free. They gave you this one free. With PlayStation Plus, and you got a oh, scope or a high roller revolver, and uh, Arabian. Arabian's fucking nice. If you don't get it, you're stupid, because <laughs> it's it's stupid bad, dude. Compared to any other horse, the only other horse I I recommend on this game is Missouri Foxtrot, and that motherfucker is stamina. It costs eight hundred and fifty dollars, and it's level locked. Cause I had like fifty thousand dollars right when I started story mode. There was no grinding within the first hour of them letting me go. I had fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Cause I'd got it late. Now I already knew what was going on. We don't want to equip that. We're gonna go roll with our new outfit. That sheriff's running this town, you'd think we were all criminals. Hope I still got my gloves on though. Anything else? What didn't change me? I can't wear that shit that I just paid for. That's I just paid for this. I want to equip it. That's always flying off the shelves. And I did that time. So, because my gloves came off. Exclusive outfit. That's a little lock, so I'm not even gonna look at it. Anything look interesting to you? Oh, he's using our clothes back on. Pants, boots, 
had to go. Where's my fucking gloves at? Accessories. Shooting a gun without gloves on is stupid. Businesses have been shutting down left and right, but I could see this place staying open for another 20 years. Getting a fist fight with like our gloves on is stupid. Because your skin is not really that tough. You can fucking. You can like be a boxer and have your knuckles fucking bad as hell but it still hurts <laughs> bare skin to hit something it's a little bit quiet today it is that's what I paid for <laughs> I paid for it to be nice and quiet honey I sent yesterday just cooking shit. Traveling around the map till I found a fucking campfire. Unexplored What's shit for me. I, this is like what it was in the first Red Dead though. Like, if you want a good game to play, tech that don't cost that much money, let's get the first Red Dead Redemption. You didn't. You didn't get the. Did you ever play the, the zomb or the zombies, where everybody was turned into zombies? Your horse was on fire. <laughs> you had the horses of the apocalypse. The game pissed me off though. When they killed off John, it was just fucking horrible. It was like when they killed off Infamous, the guy from Infamous, the main guy. Then then you played as his son in the next ones. That was so horrible, dude. That game did not live up to the first ones at all. Like you had to, you, you couldn't just go explore shit like you could in the first one. You have to level unlocked it to, to get to the next city, and then you was confined to one little area. It was so actually sort of horrible. Remember to always cock your gun. Where when you hit that? I don't title my videos very well either. If I did that, it might be better, but. I just want to know what they're called to record shit. <laughs> be honest with you. This one day I won't be able to remember who I fucking am. None of us will. Unless you make shit like you do. Make music. Make videos. Have kids. Fucking. Help a friend in need. You know what I mean? Nobody will ever remember you when you're gone if you fucking don't leave your mark. And you just stop up here and there he is. Oh my god, I did. yeah, I think so. He might not have been perfect. It's hard to judge a cougar coming at you because you have to fucking take him down so swift. Every fucking kills you. Yes. And that's usually that's the best way to get a perfect pelt. Just auto lock and fucking keep it locked on. Do you think you got a good shot? And oh, I didn't even stow that shit, dude. That's crazy. Like a rook move. <laughs> You always gotta take your fucking kill with you. Yeah, the new one's dope as fuck. I just, it's, I know how everybody likes a ball on a budget. 
Because cause if you didn't like riding horses in the first one, you know what I mean? Because that's the, really the only... The horses... Yeah, you can fast travel and actually like be in certain areas of the map. There's certain areas that have fucking like rare shit that's level locked. Like ammo. There's a place in Strawberry that I just sent you that picture from. It has express rounds. And express rounds are level locked. Like you can't even buy them until you reach a certain level. And uh if you're by yourself, you can kill all this shit. But if there's people on the map with you, I recommend going to sell your shit quick as possible. <laughs> yes, sir. It's easy. It's all good, brother. It's all good. My, sh my shit's streaming right now, too, if you... YouTube. Should just put in my name. My channel should come up. I can actually send you. I can actually send people. That's all good, bro. See you, Tech. Risky business, not setting away point. It's like GTA. GTA was risky business. If you didn't know where you were going, you're getting screwed. And the cores down there is what I was going to try to tell Tech. But the middle circles are your cores, the, the actual symbols, and then the outer part is your actual health that you are. Well, my cores are down a little bit, but my health is not all the way up, but oh, I should have not killed that. Didn't even stow this shit. on tech early though I'm keeping meat to cook so I want quality sometimes they fall with this gun not right so use your dead eye to follow if it looked like I'm not going off that son of a bitch oh he went to the side of it that son of a bitch is slick and he found it. you always want to see if they find a way down so you know where to go well, that's a crazy way down though Yeah, he can go. X 
Cougar is more important. Make sure your guns reloaded. You got 10 men. XP for kills, so you need to rank up. So everything must die. It's your choice if you fucking skin it or not. Oh wait. Damn, this is the wrong way to What the fuck? So for your horse. get something. If you've had something better, you take it off. I'll test. Make sure the full carcass was one of these because they're not worth that much. I think I was a two star too, so that's going to be good. Oh, it's his habit. I think you get paid more if you skin it, so... You always probably want to skin it. Well, I don't know if that other one was too star either, though. Let's actually test it. Just hit your button. A horse will fucking take you where you need to be. You don't have to fucking constantly make him go. You just control the speed. And turn the head just like real life. And the fucking horse will automatically go straight. Unless you make him move. Carcasses go first. 105 hides back to back perfect that's nice I think you can only hold 20 so easy to pick 10 Check your cores. I 
Was hier ist ja. Oh, you can say I'm with a horse, you got the same with a... Your horse hitting R L three all the time. Make sure your horse is clean too, though. But you gotta be stopped. And then break is R one. Gotta be stopped. I was telling Tech something earlier is go to Saint Denis or just somewhere on the top of the map because this map is huge. The whole thing didn't fit in the screen. Separate area, uh, three separate areas. So the map is huge. And you can just fast travel down here. It's worth the money pay. Cause I don't know if I've seen people, but there's nobody around me. I don't know where my homes are. dropping bodies until I get this cougar because I don't want to be skinning that bitch and the cougar will run up on me just like regular players you... somebody runs up on you grab your kill and see he's over here there's some red coming Let him get him straight with him. Two star. I might be able to look at the video and see what they are. That's a fucking 
terrible. They're not terrible, but it's good to tell you what's going on with this thing. That's all.